Hello guys, my name is Kit, and in this video I am going to do number 6.313 for the James Stewart Calc book. So I'm doing number 13, uh, using the method of cylindrical shells to find the volume of, uh, of the curve rotating the region bounded by the given curves about the x axis. Okay, so what I usually do is I just write out my givens. 1 plus y minus 2 squared, then x equals 2. Okay, next, um, since I know that this is going to be uh, rotated around the x-axis, alright, I'm going to have my x and my y-axis uh, flipped. So this will be the y-axis and this will be the x-axis. Now this just makes it really, really easy to do. So way easier than if I had the X on the bottom and the Y on the left. Right. So I'm going to make my markings first. Okay. And then first I'll draw the easy, easy stuff. So I know X equals 2 is just going to be a straight horizontal line like this. X equals 2. Then next I'll just start with this. Okay. Um, so 1 plus y minus 2 squared. So that 2, uh, this is going to be here. Then I see that. Alright. 1 is going to, going to be negative 1. So it's 2 right here. Then at 3, it's going to be 1 squared, so it's 2. Alright, 0, negative 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This, and then this looks like an even function, so it'll be over here again, over here. Alright, so this is how the curve will look like. This is the x equals 1 plus y minus 2 squared equation. <coughs> so the region that we see is this region right here. Alright, so it's going to be flipped about this axis. So, I mean it's going to be rotated about this axis. I'm going to draw this the best I can. Okay, so do like this. Then, we've got this is how it um, I think. I think this is correct. Oh, yep, yep. Okay. I see. Alright, so first the first thing I wanna do is I'll write my integral equation. So I know that the boundaries are from one to three. So like this. Then I start off my two pi, because I'm using the cylindrical shell method. Alright, and then we need to know our radius. And the radius is always going to be y. Y. Like that. Then we need to know, um, let's see, we need to know the height. And let's see how we find the height. So, one, uh, so if I do one minus, one minus, so, okay. So the height will be 2, 2 minus the, this equation, the x plus y minus 2 squared equation. So it will be 2 minus 1 plus uh, y minus 2 squared like this. And this is dy. So the reason for this is I know that um, 
uh, I know that this is always going to be the max height. So this here is always going to be the max height. All right. So I know that to find this height right here, like if I had one line right here, that I would need to subtract uh, the two by whatever this number is to find the height inside. So to find whatever this number is, I need to put in this equation, which is what I did. So two minus uh, one plus y minus two squared at that point. That point. And let's see. Oh yeah, I think this should be in parentheses. Okay, so now let's just expand this some more. Uh, gosh. Okay, two minus one minus y minus two squared. Two minus one is one. Uh, so this is going to be minus y squared y minus two uh, minus four minus four. So this is going to be plus four y. Then this is going to be plus plus four minus four. <coughs> Sorry if I'm doing this too fast. Minus y. So it's going to be one plus this negative y squared. Oh wait, no, negative y cubed plus four y squared minus three. So minus three y. All right, <coughs> and this is the uh, the expanded equation. So next, uh, we need to integrate it. So y four minus four plus y cubed four over three minus y squared. Okay, next we need to plug the 3 and the 1 in. So it will be negative 3 to power 4. So 4 plus 4 plus 3 over 3, 3 minus 2, 3 squared over 2. Then subtract it by negative one fourth plus four thirds minus three over two. So uh the reason why how uh how I got this so fast is that like so it's one so it's just going to be the the whole numbers that you see. Because one times four is just four. So and yeah. <coughs> and I don't want to do this in my head, so I'm just gonna use the calculator. <coughs> Negative three, <coughs> four over four, plus four times three cubed over three, minus two times nine over two, minus parentheses, negative point two five. Plus 4 over 3 minus 1.5. And I got <coughs> 7.1666 continuous. So I need to multiply this by 2 pi. So 7.1666 continuous times 2 pi equals 14. Point uh, let's see. <coughs> Plus two, fourteen point three 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 continuous pi, and let's see if this is the answer. So sixteen over three, sixteen over three times pi. Oh wait, no, sixteen over three. Oh no, that is not awkward. Sixteen over three pi. Hmm. So I messed up somewhere. 
<sighs> 2 minus 1 plus 1 minus 2 squared. Is that right? Yes. 2 minus 1 minus 1. Okay. Uh, 1. So this is y squared minus 4y plus 4. Uh, yes. 3 root of y squared. 3y and then I integrated right here root of y4 over 4 plus y3 plus 3y see <coughs> see if I might put it in wrong Negative three to the power four over four. It's uh, oh, I then I found it. So this is supposed to be a three. Three. Okay, let's see. If that changes anything times two times three. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I know what's wrong now. Okay. So because I did my calculations wrong, it's actually supposed to be two point six 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 continuous. All right, and then. 2.6666 continuous times 2 pi equals 5.1666. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I might do that. No! Yes! Okay, 5.33. Yay! Okay, 5.333 continuous times pi. Units cubed, and this is the correct answer. All right. So, um, if you put this uh in your calculator, it'll be the same as sixteen pi over three. Okay. So, um, I hope that this helps you in some way. Bye.